You can hear the crowd here. Visual on two healthy crows. The crowd here very excited as Dragon Freedom continues to make its way back to planet Earth. Next up, we'll stand by for the main deployment of the parachutes. The mains are quite a bit larger. You'll be able to notice the difference on your screen once they deploy, and they continue to ensure that the Dragon uh, spacecraft slows down even further. As we mentioned, Freedom will be traveling 16 miles per hour when it splashes down off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida, here at 2.57 p.m. Pacific time this afternoon. And there we go. We have visual on four healthy mains. That view was from inside. Freedom copy. Yeah. That view was from inside one of the buckets where the parachutes are located. So we see a great view there of the reefing on those parachutes. And as those parachutes, those main parachutes begin to inflate fully, four beautiful, healthy mains. Now awaiting visuals of splashdown. Thanks, Freedom. We'll start to hear Commander Nick Haig. Copy, 1,000. As we heard right there, Commander Nick Haig will be calling out the altitude of the Dragon capsule from here on out. Landing in water is simpler and provides more margin against unlikely parachute issues. You can see those, uh, those parachutes continuing to slow the Dragon capsule down. And if you're just joining us, you're looking at 800 meters. A live view of Crew 9, just minutes away from splashing down off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. Splash down two minutes from now at 2.57 p.m. Pacific. We do have four healthy mains really doing the job there. Just breathtaking views of a calm, glass-like ocean off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. Crew 9 just minutes away from splashing down. This is really such an incredible shot. Uh, that Copy, was 600. That was a live view from our recovery vessel, uh, Megan, which is stationed a couple miles away from the splashdown site. We can see the crew there using their uh, their restraints as resting places for their arms. They were just in space moments ago, <laughs> so their arms were able to float freely. 400 meters. This is a gorgeous bluebird day here that we have for the splashdown of Crew 9. It's incredible to think that the Dragon capsule just minutes ago was going over 17,000 17, miles per hour and now gently coasting to a soft splashdown. 200. Copy, 200 meters. Brace for splashdown. As you can see there on your screen, continuing to monitor progress of the Dragon spacecraft. And we're going to stand by for splashdown located in the Gulf of America um, off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. And splashdown, Crew 9 back on Earth. Thanks there between, oh, dolphin cam back again. <laughs> uh, we can we can see the distance there between, oh, dolphin cam back again. <laughs> uh, we can we can see ship. We have a very special treat. Uh, which is what this team is preparing for now. As for the recovery teams themselves, we started the day taking a series of helicopters out to the vessel. Oh yeah, Sandra, this view is absolutely unbeatable. So just to kind of finish off what I was saying is uh, once that side hatch of the spacecraft is open, that crew will be assisted out of the capsule one by one. Seeing the distance there between, oh, dolphin cam back again. <laughs> uh, we can we can see seeing the distance there between, oh, dolphin cam back again. <laughs> uh, we can we can see ship. We have a very special treat, uh, which is what this team is preparing for now. As for the recovery teams themselves, we started the day taking a series of helicopters out to the vessel. Oh yeah, Sandra, this view is absolutely unbeatable. 
so just to kind of finish off what I was saying is uh, once that side hatch of the spacecraft is open, that crew will be assisted out of the capsule one by one. Seeing the distance there between, oh, dolphin cam back again. <laughs> uh, we can we can see seeing the distance there between, oh, dolphin cam back again. <laughs> uh, we can we can see ship. We have a very special treat, uh, which is what this team is preparing for now. As for the recovery teams themselves, we started the day taking a series of helicopters out to the vessel. Oh yeah, Sandra, this view is absolutely unbeatable. So just to kind of finish off what I was saying is uh, once that side hatch of this spacecraft is open, that crew will be assisted out of the capsule one by one. Seeing the distance there between, oh, dolphin cam back again. <laughs> uh, we can we can see seeing the distance there between, oh, dolphin cam back again. <laughs> Uh, we can we can see ship we have a very special treat uh, which is what this team is preparing for now as for the recovery teams themselves we started the day taking a series of helicopters out to the vessel oh yeah sandra this view is absolutely unbeatable so just to kind of finish off what i was saying is uh, once that side hatch of this spacecraft is open that crew will be assisted out of the capsule one by one seeing the distance there between oh dolphin cam back again <laughs> Uh, we can we can see the distance there between oh, dolphin cam back again. <laughs> uh, Next step out of the capsule, we expect Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Gorbanov first space flight spent 171 days in space alongside NASA astronaut Nick Haig. Looks like we're getting some cheers and clapping on board as Alexander is slid down the little ramp and placed into the mobility aid. Once again, big smile. <laughs> movable working room inside the inside the spacecraft there is a recovery crew member inside that is helping all of our um, all of our crew nine crew egress or exit from the spacecraft for those of you that have just recently joined the dragon had an on-time splashdown oh, it looks like we're getting our next crew member here that is none other than Sonny Williams. Big smile, big waves. She, like her other crew members, now uh, will be assisted onto the mobility aid.